welcome back to the vlog i don't love the bangs right now i don't love how it's like like i want them to be straight across and i'm realizing that my hair just doesn't do that good morning um don't be fooled i'm not making mistakes i'm not cutting my bangs i don't think i don't think i'm gonna cut my bangs they look oh i'm going to wash them and blow dry them that's what i'm doing hi progress on my scarf in case you were curious okay anyway I've been feeling a little anxious the last few days not really about anything in particular go figure I don't know just feeling a little uncomfortable in my own skin which is something I'm familiar with it's not anything I haven't experienced before but I think I'm trying to give myself some space, gauge where I am, and rest so that I can feel okay. I'm trying to celebrate my small wins too. I think that's something that is really helpful for me when I am feeling generally a little bit more anxious or heavy or self-critical, all of which I have been feeling this last like week. Yeah, celebrating small wins like just congratulating myself on like drinking enough water for the day or you know I got up and accomplished something within the first hour of my day that I wanted to do and maybe I didn't do everything on my to-do list but I did do one big important thing I think that's really helpful for me definitely had the past few days like I've had my to-do list and got to the end of the day and just realized I got distracted or I didn't accomplish everything on my list or I didn't accomplish anything on my list. That's kind of a bummer. I'm just trying to be kinder to myself. And you know, if there's a couple days or even a week or a couple weeks where I don't really get much accomplished or I am just feeling generally heavier and more self-critical and more anxious and it's harder for me to do those things, I am realizing that that is okay. Yeah. I also think that I have, I've kind of been like forcing myself to do certain things. Like I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to doing the dishes for some reason, for many reasons, um, doing my own dishes and like doing something in the kitchen and then having to wash the dishes is just this huge like roadblock for me. And sometimes it's helpful for me to put them off. Sometimes it's helpful for me to like go enjoy the meal or go do the rest of the things I need to do for the day and then make a point to come back and do those dishes. Sometimes that can be really helpful or even like sometimes leaving them overnight or leaving a dish or two just so that I don't have to deal with it. That can be helpful um, occasionally, but this week I have kind of been forcing myself to, if there is a dish or two dishes or just even like a fork that I used, just forcing myself to clean it and put it up in the drying rack and get it out of the way. And 
I don't know what it is, but it's actually been really good this past week that I've been doing that. And every time I go over to the sink with a dish, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I am just gonna wash this dish, put it up, move on. Like I'm forcing myself to do it even though I don't want to. It sounds so silly that I have such a hard time washing dishes, but I don't know. I think everyone has something like that that is just a harder thing for them to do. Yeah, it's a really nice day. I think I'm gonna bike and try to go find something new or maybe go see the water and sit by the sea. I think that that would be nice, yeah. officially over. It is full on spring here in Helsinki. There's such a large part of me that misses the winter and misses like the dark mornings and candlelit breakfasts and Christmas time. I don't know. I'm not a spring and summer gal, which I think I've previously stated in videos. This looks like a mustache. Wait. <laughs> I feel like in spring, a lot of people get really excited and creative. And for me, that happens in the fall. When we are gearing up for fall and winter, I get really creative and I have all these ideas of things I wanna do. And I think I find it really hard to feel that way in the spring. There's a lot of pressure to do that. And when there's pressure to do something, I don't, I don't usually wanna do it. <laughs> I wanna to come to it on my own. And I love to be doing the opposite of whatever, ever, blah, blah, blah. I love to be doing the opposite of what everyone else is doing. So when everyone is like sad about it changing to fall and winter, I'm that's when I'm like the most creative. I don't know, that's how I feel. 